I'm fighting next Friday at the Hard Rock. Yeah, yeah, me and Impa. How long ago was it that you guys fought? We fought last November. Okay, so it's been a little, okay, it's been cool. a little gap. Nice. Yeah, no? I think it's been a nice little sweet spot. Sometimes yeah. rematches happen like years yeah. later. Of course, yeah. This is, you know, months later. Let's go. Let's get after yeah, it. Man. The guards have aligned it. We're doing the last point for Josh before the week of the fight. Um, I'm very happy, ready for war. That's what we're going to bring in. Vaseline? Yeah, yeah. Three minutes, one month. It's not only going to be different, but it's going to make a statement. Josh, it is a complete different fighter from the last time. I could not be more proud of him. Redemption, revenge. And that's what this fight's all is going to be about. Fighting back, hurting Impa, taking it a little personal, just a little, because it is personal. Pressure, pressure, you gotta, you gotta bring some pressure. 30 seconds. The difference this time is attitude, grit. I wore his punches last time, it took a lot. I know how it feels, but he hasn't felt my hands yet. He hasn't felt my intensity. I don't give a if it's in Florida in front of my family and friends. Kill or be killed right now. That's what it's all about. I ain't, I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Revenge is the sweetest joy next to getting. So we're gonna do the ladder, shadow box, the only seat, then the counter, then the lights, the light sparring, and then a little bit of mitts with me. <laughs> I used to own the gym, and after the fight, me and Impa were talking because I want to commit a little bit more over there to Kill Cliff and be there full time. So I was like, look, I really don't have time for the gym. And Impa's developed a big relationship with the kids in the gym, so he's like, why don't I just buy the gym from you? And honestly, it's the best thing that could have happened. The gym feels like it has new life. The kids are happy. Everybody's here having a good time, so it was a good move. Ready, go! We're looking forward to this rematch, too. I know they're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to it as well. I know they feel like they've gotten better, but I feel like we've gotten better, too. Us coming off the win, like, people would think, oh, no, they're satisfied with what happened last time. We were not satisfied at all with what happened last time. We, we fought a good fight but we felt we had finishes in certain situations. So we came back to the lab, we worked, we think we fixed the problems that we had in the last fight. And we, we feel like it's gonna be a better fight on our end this time. You got better defense, better offense, better grappling, better everything. And then just, but take him to your world. Don't go to a little bit of hope he has in his. I'm grateful. We're at my gym, Impa's Refinery. You know, the place that uh, helped me develop to be a champion when I was DK Fitness, a place where, you know, people become the best version of themselves. You come in as gold with all the impurities around you and you leave brand new and better. I approach this as not looking at it as a rematch. I don't see it as a rematch, it's the next fight. You know, he's not the same person as he was. I'm not the same person that I was. Josh is a solid man, good father, good team. I look at it as like, I have to go take my opponent out and go kill my opponent. The victories in the past are awesome. The victories in the past are great and they're accolades to help you move forward. Right now, it's one fight at a time. I claim this victory on you know, August 16th. Then I move forward and claim the title at the end of the year. Block the kicks! There we go. I'm happy Impa was able to you know, grow this gym. It's been a blessing to be part of this team and, you know, and around this journey. And I get to like, see what hard work brings. You know? And it's bringing a lot of good things for him. He's bringing him a championship belt, you know, a new gym, a new business. And uh, glad to be part of it. Knees to the body. I don't want a knee to the head. Knees to the body. Take his body from him. Mads is a great opponent. He's a, he's a banger. He comes to fight. He's not scared to bang. He's not scared to grapple. So it's going to be a hell of a fight. It's going to be maybe a lot of scrambles, a lot of, you know, uh, dirty boxing. It's going to be a war, that's for sure, and I'm going to bring it. Time. Hands up. Hands up. All day, Elvis. All day. Oh, <laughs> my
<laughs> yeah, we upset it at extreme and usually we turn the heat up but right now we actually have no AC or no heat on because we've had a couple of people actually pass out because of dehydration but yeah it's wrestling with punches and then grappling it's a tough one it's technique but your cardio gets tested because the mats get so slippery that you're forced to scramble all the time and it doesn't even matter if like you got a black belt and a blue belt because like like i said the mats is so freaking slippery it looks like a swamp in here it forces your technique to be extra sharp and and the cardio of course because you're scrambling all the time I love training with Biagio, he's a, a great friend of mine and happy to see that he's happy being where he is and you know, he's uh, making progress every day. He's still a baby in this game, but he's, he's still he's very, very talented. So yeah, I'm excited for, for Biagio and happy that he's happy to be where he is. Just blow, blow air in his ear. <laughs> Shrimp. Doesn't say anything in the rule book. The environment up here is amazing. Everybody's helping each other. Everyone's super supportive of each other. We do like eight, five minute rounds up here in a really hot heat. So it brings the, kind of that, that adversity and the, just the hard work. It's awesome, you know, he's, he's like a mentor to me. He's like an older brother. Us fighting on the same card is awesome. Uh, he helps me out a lot. Any questions that I have, I always ask him and he always gives me a, a crystal clear answer. And I, I believe that I've gotten better because of him as well. So. Yeah, it's, it's super exciting. You know, I've never fought in Florida before, and we're both on the same card, so it's going to be a good night. Yeah, fight camp's gone great for both of them. Mads is, has been looking sharp. He's always looking sharp. And as far as Biagio, I mean, that kid has made huge jumps. Obviously, he's a lot more green than, than Mads, so he's got a lot more room for growth. And he's had a, a longer break in between fights. So I think we're, you're going to see a, a way better version with Biagio than, than you've seen in the past. Both of them like to stand and trade. You know, Madge is a super pressure forward guy and Biagio is super explosive uh, with his athleticism and his football background. He's one of the most explosive kids uh, I've got to train. So yeah, I think it's, it's a show from both of those guys. Working with Evelyn Martins and Kelly Harrison and part of the Big Girl Trios and, and yeah, we're working towards our fighting next weekend with the PFL. I like adrenaline and I like uh, pushing myself to its physical limits, but I think more so the mental limits, knowing how far you can push your body, like with every sport, but the mental side is different where you're against someone else whose brain's telling them to do the same thing. So it's then it becomes a very mental game. I think that's what's fascinating to me about it. That'd be cool, you know, we've got heaps and heaps of guys and girls from the gym and, and around here that are fighting on the card. It'd be cool to have friends and family from the gym here, you know, going down, our neighbours and things. So stuff, people that you always talk to about your fight actually get to go down and watch an event, so it's awesome. And then my phone buzzed. I had like a headline or something, so I looked and I looked up and you were up. And I'm like, I gotta rewind that. What's the date of your next one? Um, not said yet. End of November, I think the last week. Yeah. Said. yeah. It's time to get better between now and then. And then there's gonna be a lot of time to get better between then and next year. That's what's gonna be scary. on the other side and watch someone else <laughs> for a little bit, for a little bit. Dovlet's a monster. Big power, very explosive. He's got a lot of different weapons. He's fighting a veteran, a guy who's a returning PFL champion, but Dovlet is ready for the challenge and, uh, you know, I believe he'll, he'll be victorious. So, he's a dangerous guy. I want to stand and bang for sure. Nobody wants to see a wrestling match. You know what I mean? Everybody goes to watch an MMA fight. And if you do wrestle, 
but you do like Khabib stuff and you're like, you're mauling the guy, then yeah, that's fun to watch. But most people are just wrestling to gain points and, to, and hold you down, maybe hit you two or three times, trying to advance positions like this is a jiu-jitsu match. Like, bro, I'd rather give the people what they want to see, you know? I'm the people's champ, and soon enough, they're going to recognize me as such. You want to see people go at it. We aren't gladiators, but you wouldn't want to be a gladiator who's a fighter today. I'm locked in. I'm so ready and so excited to finally be fighting in front of my entire family, friends, friends that I met from school, people I've met in life. And you hear them call out my name. I just can't wait to hear how electrifying the arena gets in. Once you hear those Ric Flair woos, it's, you know it's about to go crazy. Remember, it's not, it's, not, it's not about all power, more speed. Breathe, good. As of now, he's 26 years old. He's a young prospect. They can pay for the sidekicks. It doesn't matter who's there. He's willing to learn from anybody, you know, man, woman, dog, whatever. You know, he has a good spirit, he's very spiritual. He's willing to learn. He has everything, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, striking, Muay Thai, everything, judo. He's a very hard worker, man. Good. Good. I mean, if you see his highlight, man, he's knocking out everybody. Even the fight that he got a decision win, it was straight highlights. Good. He's a type of pressure fighter that's gonna bring the entertainment that people wanna see. Got time. Osa, good job, Henry. Up, 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 up,